It's becoming a soap opera. As today, we check back in with Izuna I, one of the original VTubers and who is currently on indefinite hiatus. But who is not on hiatus is Kizuna I Incorporated, the company behind the talent, and earlier issuing out this statement, as very handedly translated here by Ralph, reading report and request regarding Kizuna I. Currently, Kizuna I's name and visuals are used without our permission in web media and video contents. It is very regrettable and confusing for us that expressions which might destroy the worldview of Kizuna I are used. Continuing on, Kizuna I is a virtual AI with an ego and has no gender. If the situation escalates any further, we will take appropriate measures to protect Kizuna I. We look forward to your continued understanding and support for Kizuna I. Thank you, Kizuna I Incorporated. So what's going on and what spurned on this particular statement from this company? Well, it turns out it's because of national news. That's right. It's one of the lead stories in Japan right now being reported on in multiple outlets and also, of course, including Yahoo Japan, one of the most read news outlets in the entire nation. And yes, would you believe it? Once again, we're back with Kore Kore, the individual who runs what is considered a drama YouTube channel and was very instrumental in the earlier Hall Live Japan talent Uraha Rusha and Utate talent Mafu Mafu story. And it began two days ago when Kore Kore ran a very quick story regarding infidelity. That involving the very, very popular Utate talent Nana Mori, a very, very successful individual and also the leader and founder of the Strawberry Prince indie pop boy group, which has been running since 2016. And now the allegations against Nana Mori are as such, that being an accusation from an anonymous female who claimed to be his live-in fiance and who had claimed that Nanamori had committed adultery against her, with her saying that they are in a common law relationship and actually have a child together with yet another child on the way. And here's where it gets even crazier. Because of this voice recording, numerous allegations in Japan are stating that this actual individual that was cheated on could have been potentially the talent behind Kizuna Ai, as many are also alleging that this indefinite hiatus was potentially due to this second pregnancy. And yes, here's where things get even crazier. As Nanamori was accused of cheating on those he was cheating with, meaning there were multiple individuals he was dating at once. And because of prior connections with Strawberry Prince and further business connections, the other individual that is involved in this cheating and being cheated on happens to be another fellow very popular Utate member, Himaru. Or if you've known this talent for some time, yes, used to be the talent Kaguya Luna, one of the biggest VTubers of all time, right next to Kizuna Ai and a good friend of each other. These allegations have been rocking Japan as KoreiTube's particular stream today garnered nearly half a million live viewers all at once. Meanwhile, Strawberry Prince Incorporated, once again the company that Nanamori has founded and is the leader of, did today take to a twit cast and also a staff member has now created a note.com post as handedly translated here by Suto Puri, an unofficial Strawberry Prince fan account with this note reading regarding Nanamori. After confirming the thing that has been spreading in the internet about how he has a child with a woman and about how he didn't properly have a marriage registration with that person and while having that person he also has a relationship with another woman, we have confirmed that everything is true. Honestly, I have no words. And of course, continuing on that live streams at this time are cancelled and that Nanamori will be talking to listeners soon. Further saying, once again, we deeply apologize for causing lots of trouble and worry to the listeners and everyone involved. We are sorry for what happened. Many at this time are expecting that Nanamori will be leaving Strawberry Prince, but may still remain as their CEO and leader. And meanwhile, we may have no full confirmation that the individual involved here was the talent behind Keys and I, as the company has made clear they wish to separate the talent and the actual VTuber personality. But once again, during today's stream, the woman alleging this was actually on stream. And once again, many are connecting it to the Kizuna Ai talent. Many, of course, are also expecting this will actually not look bad on either Kizuna Ai or P. Maru, as they are at this time seen as the ones that are being cheated on and potentially may not have even known about this infidelity. Once again, Kizuna Ai is 
is on indefinite hiatus, but fans the world over are still anticipating her return and are looking forward to welcoming her back with open arms. Now, if only we could go back to when things were simpler, like yesterday when things actually weren't simple and we had an instance like this with a VTuber interviewing Hollywood celebrities, which actually takes us back to this moment as Girl DM said, if you enjoyed watching Laplace do the Batman interview, please enjoy Christoph Waltz fanboying over Kizuna Ai when she did the Alita interview. Adding this screenshot, they held hands. And oh man, do we have loads of Hall Live news today. As the augmented reality app Hololy is being updated with the Hollow Error costume and the Hall Live Super Expo 2022 event stage timetable has been released, showing off when each individual will be performing, as well as also revealing the full floor space for the expo. As you can see here, there will also be a Hall Live alternative booth, a Hollow Stars booth, a Hollow Live English booth, and yes, as confirmed, Hall Live Indonesia has a booth in the Super Expo as well. That being doubly confirmed from Crazy Ali, who earlier created a space talking directly with her fans and also tweeting out, Doctor visit went well. I should be fine as long as I rest, so I'll be taking a break until Sunday, but don't worry. Mass Stream will come next week, as this talent had revealed they had fallen down a set of stairs, receiving a light concussion and a slight fever, and is currently resting at this time. Also now we return to Kathy, aka Free, who shared this 3D animatic of, of the actual new models that they created for the KFP Dance School, models that were seen on full display in VR chat, and with one particular moment stealing the show, as Under the TV brought us the revelation of who was playing the egg. Yes, once again, that was Gal Gura, who had reached for the stars with a middle finger. A moment captured by other artists such as Gugu Cave, Kukulu, showing off this very proud shork, Lily is asleep at Kuki Nyan, Nua at Nua Pika, and Dido Bang, with Gura just being Gura. And you may remember long ago we had mentioned Pacific Racing Team, as they had confirmed a collaboration with Hall Live Japan, and here it is, as we are expecting a reveal of each of these silhouettes one day after the next, with many expecting Racing Queen styled Hall Live talents to come. Also, we're checking back in with HM, a director with Hall Live, now throwing up the horns and getting 666,000 followers on Twitter.com, and also confirming some news with Hollow Earth, an upcoming video game interactive experience from Cover Corporation, who will be running a lobby stress test on March 14th and is asking for signups from other users right now, with HN saying, finally, we're looking for validation test participants. This is getting exciting. Will it be able to withstand the load? The load. And we also now have a Hollow Earth English account on Twitter, tweeting out only the Hollow Earth app currently only supports Japanese, but an English version is in the works. Stay tuned. Further along, we have KU at Kinematic, who had earlier delivered up this Pomu and Selene sprite work as they had earlier played River City Girls together, which led to awesome fan artwork from Das Doctor, delivering up these River City VTubers. As also G9 said, this was my favorite collab, number two win. But now now KU has gone above and beyond, now making a hollow myth vampire survivors, showing off the talents all in different poses and graphics here. Letting us know some of the visual effects were by Doodle at Doodle TV, and with new Hall Live song remixes from Euphric, saying we're just doing this as a hobby, and we'll be developing this slowly over time. We just started like a week ago, so please stay tuned for a demo eventually in the future. Adding our current plan is to complete all the game's main features and the five myth girls, plus a few bosses, then release that as a demo. After that, we will do Council plus Iris for the second release, then the rest of Hall Live in some undecided order. And also playing the game is V Shoujo's Iron Mouse. Now, quote, retweeting this, Can you find me and my friends? This post coming from Ross O'Donovan at Rubber Ninja, posting up a new video and saying, I animated YouTubers into Family Guy. 20 plus creators gave me their voices, as we saw appearances from both Iron Mouse, Natasha Nyanners, and and yes, also Snuffy, who is a good friend of Ross, saying, New episode drop, never before seen, uncensored, adult rated. Let's take a watch. 
Snuffy the raccoon! Did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? <gasps> okay, well, that brings us also over to iCandy, saying I got inspired by Rubber Ninja turning streamers into Family Guy guest stars, showing off herself here, and also a pup who is buff, and replying to 2win at 2win Tales, who said, this is why people think you're the shortest, with shut up, winch, true though. Also with Hall Live English, we had Odo Crony of Hollow Council delivering up a much anticipated Ring Fit adventure stream, along with this thumbnail artwork, only for some to be surprised that she instead busted out her New Year's outfit instead. Her character illustrator had labeled this as watch the fetish stream, only later to ask where is the sexy, saying sexy doko, and then also in English saying that her screams were of a non-human voice. So yes, while we had an idea as to how this would go, as illustrated here from Nami of Crony Working Out, Azu Art was a little bit more on the money here, saying what I see on Crony's ring fit today, with other interpretations coming from Shinobu Otaku, and under the TV is back, saying I am Super Crony, which leads us to a very quick update from Hall Live English's Mori Calliope. Also letting us know, I got ring fit adventure. While also tweeting this out, I finished it. The biggest music project of my career. I'll announce it on March 18th. And very, very lastly, we have the most important news of the day. That coming from Hall Live Japan Town, Roboco, who has officially joined Twitch.tv. Follow her now. Sub to her now. Tier 3 gift subs. Let's see it. And that is all for this episode. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Join our Discord for other VTuber news. We record live on Twitch, and we'll have more. Things VTubers say for you soon.